New tonight, Collierville School is under fire after pulling more than 300 books from the school library. This according to a report by the Commercial Appeal. All while a Tennessee bill that would ban LGBTQ books was being considered by lawmakers. Tonight, a Collierville student who spoke to state lawmakers against the bill is speaking to our Rebecca Butcher. Well, surreal is how Collierville High School junior Milana Kumar describes over 300 books being pulled from school shelves in the district. She says without parents' knowledge, adding it's hurting student and faculty trust. It's like surreal because a lot of the times I feel like it's easy to detach like the decision making and the decision makers who are at the Capitol from like my life. Milana Kumar, a Collierville High School student, testified against a bill that would ban books deemed obscene back in April. According to the Commercial Appeal, as Tennessee lawmakers considered banning LGBTQ plus books, Collierville schools removed them from high school library shelves for review. The 300 books were reportedly pulled and placed into the counselor's office with district officials suggesting certain categories be removed for good. It's more about control as well instead of just the books themselves and it perpetuates that like adultist narrative that like I can control your education. The CA reported a Carville spokesperson stated the books were not removed from official circulation. The high school junior, a Tennessee youth coalition organizer, says Carville schools should have alerted parents and students about the book review process. I think that each school should have let the population around them know like what that looks like for that specific school. Um, especially because that was such a driving like argument getting this bill passed was like we're transferring power to the school districts. Kumar says the book removal is making topics like race and sexual orientation more difficult to discuss openly. As a queer student at that school and seeing that these 300 books are primarily around LGBTQ plus communities, it's, it's just discomforting um, and it doesn't make any student feel safe, respected, or like their identity is being fostered in any classroom. And lawmaker Joey Hensley, the bill's sponsor, says this bill was killed this year but will be brought back up in next year's session. Back to you. Thank you, Rebecca. And ABC 24 reached out to Collierville Schools in an email today asking what categories of books were removed from school shelves and if parental consent is needed to check out books considered inappropriate for some age levels. We have yet to hear back from them.